of busy. You see, when I was at the community garden, I heard Gardener Mary talking about how the garden needed money to make it even better so that people could have food. I thought about that and came up with an idea. Remember how I love to fly kites? Well, what if we had a bunch of people get together and have a kite fly off? I kind of made that up, but it just means see how long you can fly your kite. Can you imagine? Hundreds, no, thousands of kites flying in the air. People could sponsor, that means give money to certain people and their kites. And the money could go to the community garden. I'm drying up plants. Oh, I need your help. What should I call it? Callie's kite -arama? Yeah, maybe not. Oh, oh, how about Callie's crazy blazy kite amazy party? Nah. Oh, yeah, you're right. That's not it either. How about Callie's kite extravaganza? No, that's not it either. <sighs> wow, I can't even come up with a name. Maybe I can't do this at all. Maybe a kite fly-off isn't such a great idea. Maybe there isn't anything I can do to help the community garden raise money. Hmm. I gotta think about this while we hear today's Bible story. It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from the book of 2 Kings, chapter 5. This story begins with a man named Naaman. Naaman was a great general in the army of a place called Aram, but he was very sick and in a lot of pain. He heard that there was a man somewhere in Israel who could heal him. Because Naaman was an important man, the king of Aram sent a message to the king of Israel. He asked for help to make Naaman all better. The king of Israel was very confused and thought this was all some kind of trick. Elisha heard about the message, and he knew right away that Naaman was looking for him. Elisha told the king to settle down and send Naaman to him. So Naaman, the great general, rode with his horses and chariots to the small little hut that Elisha lived in. Elisha didn't even come out to greet Naaman. Instead, he sent a servant to tell Naaman to go take a bath in the Jordan River. Naaman was mad because Elisha didn't come out to see him. After all, Naaman was a very important man. He probably thought Elisha would come out and pray with him. But that's not all. Naaman got even angrier because he thought the Jordan River was dirty and gross. There were far better rivers where he lived. How could this man and that river be used to heal him? Naaman stomped off angry. But the men with him asked him a really good question. They asked him, If Elisha had told you to do something really difficult, would you have done it? Naaman said, Of course. So they told him, Why not try this really easy thing? Who knows? It could work. That made sense to Naaman. So he went and took a bath in the Jordan River, like Elisha said. And he was healed. Naaman thought that the Jordan River and this man from Israel in a small little hut couldn't possibly be what God would use to heal him. But Elisha knew God could use anyone to do anything. He knew, I can be used by God. Well, friends, I wasn't sure I could help the community garden with my kite off idea. But that Bible story was just what I needed to put the wind back in my sails. Or kite. <laughs> I was struggling with a name, but it was right in front of me. Callie's kite off for the community garden. I like it. I just finished the sign that my mom said she'd have printed and copied and posted everywhere. Check it out. I hope people come. We did it! Callie's kite off is a hit! Gardener Mary said we raised more money than we needed to make the improvements to the community garden. Just think of all the fruits and veggies, all the food that will go to people who need it. And God used me and a kite to do that. 
I guess our big idea is really true. I can be used by God. That means you too, friends. Do you have any great ideas about helping others? I bet you do. Remember, you're not too small to make a difference. Thanks for learning and growing with me. It's been so much fun. See you next time. Okay, here we go. And up. <laughs>